out. I will handle the call um, and give her a little time to relax and chill. Uh, she took over from me last time when I had my PTA emergency, so uh, I'm filling in for her now. So we wanted to have our team call this week, and the topic is really just how to bring your business to the next level. Um, I know in April we were doing the Go Green push, and we were so impressed with everything that you guys did. You guys worked so hard, and so many of you went from coaches to emeralds, and then some of you went from emeralds to diamonds, and some of you who are emeralds got real, are getting so super, super close to diamonds. So you guys are really making significant progress in your, in your business. But what happens sometimes is we work so hard to get to the next level that when we get there, we're kind of like, whew, we got there. And then we take this deep exhale and we kind of put everything on pause. And we kind of just sit and stop doing some of the things that we were doing. Um, and we don't even sometimes realize we're doing that. But when you, when you really think about it, you are. Um, so we're going to talk about, okay, you've had a little bit of time now to kind of digest your new status or to say, oh, I tried really hard to hit Emerald and I didn't quite get it. And now it's mid-May. Let's make a game plan to move forward. So this call is for everyone. This call is for brand new coaches who want to start their business. This, coach, this call is for people who just hit Emerald who are ready to say, hey, I want to go Diamond. This is for the people who just hit Diamond who are like, okay, now what the heck do I do? Um, so this is really from, for everyone. I hope you guys have a paper and pen because I would really like you to take away the things that Sharice and I are sharing tonight and implement them in your businesses. So um, the first thing I'm gonna start with, you're gonna think, oh, it's gonna sound like a broken record. Jen and Tree save us all the time. But the three vital behaviors is where I'm gonna start because without those, you have nothing. So we have inviting, the personal development, and the proof of the product. Um, I know a lot of us, I know a lot of them on my team and myself, we all work in elementary schools and schools. And this is crunch time. This is crazy time. I know a lot of you are stay-at-home moms. This is crunch time. This is crazy time. You've got 9,000 field days and barbecues. And there are so many more activities at this time of the year, I feel, than at almost any other time of the year. So sometimes we start letting things slip. Oh, I only put up one post today. I only put up a post a week. Uh, I didn't send out invites today. You know, I had the barbecue. I had this. I had that. It happens. It's life. I understand. Um, so, but sometimes we don't have the mindset to be reflective like that and realize like I was busy, so this didn't happen. Instead, sometimes we say, I don't understand what's happening. You know, no one's replying to my post and you know, no one is signing up for my challenge group and I'm really frustrated. So what I, what I challenge you to do is if you're feeling that way, that you're putting out all these posts and, or you're putting out what you feel is a lot of posts, I want you to look at your timeline for the past seven days and I want you to see how many times a day you're posting. Should be about five, four to five, and are at least two of those fitness related. If they're not, that's something that's place one where you need to refocus your energy. I want you to look in your private message stream and I want you to scroll back a week. And I want to see how many invites have you sent out? How many follow-ups have you done? Again, another area where you may want to say, hey, I need to focus on this because those are really important, important things. Um, so, like I said, I work in an elementary school. This is crazy time for me. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, Sharice and I were talking, and we kind of came up with a couple of things to, you know, make life a little easier and kind of come up with a way to focus on these things without, you know, sometimes we don't have the time to do it every day. We're human. We understand it. So, I'm proposing that we start um, a Sunday blitz. Every Sunday, to send out 10 invitations. That way you're covered. If you don't get to do it on Monday and Tuesday, well, you sent out 10 on Sunday. So that's a really good thing. So you do the Sunday blitz where you're sending out 10 invitations to people to invite them to our challenge groups. And then what I would also suggest is, that, suggest is to have follow-up Friday. So then on Friday, you're going to sit down and you're going to dedicate some time and following up with those people from Sunday and anybody else who's on your list that you should be following up with. That's something that you should be starting this weekend. So this Sunday, you should be sending out 10 invitations. Sharice and I are both gonna be putting up a post in our team pages that says, okay, it's Sunday Blitz time. 
you know, and after you do it, I want you to post up there because we are going to give you a big old shout out because we are really proud that you are trying and taking the suggestions that we're making and tr giving it a try. You know, sometimes you have to go out of your comfort, your little comfort zone and say, all right, you know, I'm doing it this way. I like my way, but you know what? All right, I'll give Jen and Sharice's way a chance. I'll see. Maybe they know what they're talking about. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but hey, give it a try, because you never know. Sometimes when you try something different, you get really good results. So, I w so we're gonna put up posts. We want you to post that you're doing it, so that way we can recognize you and tell you how proud of you we are. Um, we want you to still try to invite on a daily basis and still try to follow up, but if you don't have time to do it every day, we understand, and now you have this dedicated time to send out a whole bunch at once. Um, now, if you are a coach who has coaches, this is gonna be something new for them. So you should have like pre-written blurbs that you use for invitations and for follow-ups and things of that nature. You should be now sharing that sort of thing with your personally sponsored coaches. Sending them a private message that says like, okay guys, it's Sunday, it's time for us to do our blitz. Here's a message I'm sending out. Feel free to use it or tweak it to your liking. Um, because that gives them a framework. That gives them something to start with. They can personalize it and make it their own, but at least they're not starting from scratch, you know? And then that makes them feel supported by their coach, which is what we want people to do. Um, so that's a good thing to do. Um, another thing, going back to the three vital behaviors, is the personal development. That is something that I know I was really late in the game to getting in, and it's really helped me. So Sharice and I just wanted to give you a couple of names of books that we both really like. Um, you Are Badass, we both loved. Um, just don't listen to it with the kids in the car, it, or read it out loud. It's got, it's got really bad words in it. Um, <laughs> the Entrepreneur Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy is good. Failing Forward by John Maxwell is good. If, if you are not someone who likes personal development books, if you like more of like a fictional story, um, Cherie suggested a book called Life's Golden Ticket. It's by Brendan Bouchard. It's a fictional story that has a lot of great personal development messages in it. So that might be something that you could really get into. It's a real page turner, she said. Um, and the other thing is I use the Audible app and they always run deals where you get like two books free and it's really a good deal. So check that out as well. Um, something that you can try that I've been doing, um, like I said, I work in an elementary school and I just started um, a fit club at my elementary school. So every Monday we do a workout. So we had the first one this past Monday and um, I was really afraid no one was going to show up. I didn't know what to, what to expect. Um, but we had 13 people, and it was really awesome. We did something from the 21-day fix. I made sure to pick something that didn't require equipment because you don't want people having to lug all this stuff to school. Um, our school, luckily, our PTA is awesome, and they bought us this huge TV. So we wheeled the TV down to our large group area. We put in the 21-day fix, and the custodian got quite a kick out of us doing our workout. Um, <laughs> he was cheering us on as we were doing it. Um, it was funny because I've been working out alone now for 18 months, so to hear the commentary from everybody and everyone cursing out Autumn was pretty funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, they got through it, and then the next, when I got home that night, I sent them a real positive email about, like, yes, it was hard. Yes, you wanted to give up, but you didn't. So now we're going to meet again. Um, this Monday's Memorial Day, but the following Monday, and we're going to do something from Pio. So I'm doing it for four weeks. And in the meantime, I'm offering them nutritional support and recipes and things like that. No strings attached, no purchase required, just free. Um, if you go in your coach online office, there's a whole section for Fit Club. Um, if you work at a school, you can ask your principal, or we have a social committee that runs um, – activities for the teachers. So that's who I went to. They actually came to me and asked me to do it. Um, so you could ask your social committee or your principal if you could run something. If you work in a business, you could ask your, your administrator, your, your um, you know, CEO, if that's something you could do just for once a week, four week period. Hey, you could do it at your house. If you have a big screen TV where you can fit two or three people, why not do it at your house? Um, I did it once before at my son's karate dojo. So I did like a one time fit club. Um, there are release forms that the people need to sign so that way there's no liability for you. All of this is free printable in the back office, so definitely check that out. 
but it's a great people, a great way to expose yourself to a lot of people. They build trust. They see you as a fitness expert. These people are now stopping me in the hall and like, hey, Jen, I'm sore today. And hey, what did you eat? And what, how does this menu sound? And so it really makes connections. So I definitely suggest that you look into doing something like that because honestly, it was a lot of fun and you can really, um, it can really work out for you. Um, the other thing is hitting success club five should be non-negotiable. It should be something that you're saying, this is what I am doing every single month. Um, I recently told my team that I, every month I want them to post, physically post in their house, their goal. I have mine hanging on my bedroom mirror so that every morning when I wake up, I see, boom, this is what I need to accomplish. And every time, I, my goal was success club 14. So every time I've been hitting, you know, by twos, I've been putting an X through and through and through and through. And now I'm at 12. And let me tell you, I have been struggling the past couple of months to get to 10. So for me to be at 12 at this point in the month, I'm thrilled. And I really think seeing that goal every day really motivated me. I'm like, all right, I got to put some X's on that, on that paper. I got to get going here. So post your goal so you can see it. And so your family members can see it. My kids were like, hey, mom, what is that? And I told them, this is something mommy's trying to do. And they would see me cross the axis. Hey, mom, you're doing great. So, you know, it's really rewarding. And then see you setting a goal and achieving it. That's a really good thing for you to do in front of your kids. Um, so here are some things to hit success club every month. Post your goal. Create an event about your challenge group on your Facebook page. On your, if you don't have a like page, you can do it right on your regular Facebook page. If you have a like page, set it up on your like page and then say you're going and it'll show up on both, which is nice. Um, invite all of your leads, every lead you ever had, keep inviting them. If you're friends with them on Facebook, send them an invitation. If you're not friends with them on Facebook, send them the link to the invitation. You can use the email system on the coach online office, or if you have um, the CEO on my, uh, the uh, automatic CEO system, you can send emails through that. But you want to keep reaching out to these people because you want to stay constant in their mind. Oh, I have this coach. If I ever need them, I can reach out to them. So that's someone, um, something that you should definitely not forget about. Network in mom's groups, groups on Facebook, let them know what you're doing. And offer incentives, you know, hey, I'll offer a free shaker cup with every challenge pack purchase. If you buy a six pack of shaker cups, I think it's like $9.99 for a six pack. So they're super, super cheap. Um, sometimes I'll throw a Shakeology sample in there, you know, with a recipe card or something. That's a good thing to do. So make it non-negotiable. Make it your goal every single month. Um, the other thing is live events. Live events is a game changer in this business because we're very isolated in this business. We're in our little Facebook page and you know, we have team calls like this every once in a while, but it's still not the same as seeing a human being. So our next Super Saturday is July 25th and I would strongly encourage that you go. Um, I would encourage you even more if you're able to go to Nashville to go to Summit the week before. Um, I'm going to my first summit and I'm super, super excited. Um, everyone keeps saying that it's a game changer, that your business is going to explode after that. So I'm thrilled and cannot wait to go. So there are still tickets and rooms available for summit. So if you're interested, please let Teresa or I know and we will help you to get, get what you need so you can come. Um, and this is something I really wanted to, to focus on with you guys tonight. Once you've gone through coach basics and you've been on the team a month or so and you're getting the hang of things, it's time for you to be a leader. And you might say, Jen, how can I be a leader if I've only been here 30 days? You, you really need to realize how valuable you are and what you know. Because after being around for a month and completing coach basics, you really have a lot of knowledge. Now, excuse my drawings, I am no artist. When I started Beachbody, this is how I thought the hierarchy went. Dave was at the top and everyone else was at the bottom. He was the sole person to go to. He was, you know, who I went to. And now, Sharice and I have our own teams. And, you know, I, sometimes I feel like people view we're at the top and everyone else is at the bottom. This is not an effective way for a team to work. An effective way for a team to work is to have, like what I like to call, like layers of leadership. So when I say you are all leaders, we all need to be leaders to help our teams grow and develop. 
So this is what it should look like. So we have either Charisse or I at top, then we have all the diamonds, then all the emeralds, then all the personally sponsored coaches underneath that. Everybody who's a coach on this team has something to offer and to lead and develop and to help another coach. So please, please, please take responsibility for your coaches and show them that you are a leader because that will make them feel empowered. Like, wow, you know, so-and-so is my coach and she's helping me and she's doing this and she's doing that. Um, and it really will help the team to grow and develop. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. <laughs> um, I thought that I, as you know, the founding coach of my team was responsible for everything and had to do everything and had to, you know, reach out to the entire team, whether they're my, my coaches or not my coaches. And really through my professional development, I found out that I was really wrong. Um, and I was actually doing my team a disservice by not facilitating them to become leaders. So I've been making adjustments and trying to encourage people to be, take on more of a leadership role. So you might say like, well, how can I take on more of a leadership role? So here are some things you can do. I want you to check in with your personally sponsored coaches at least once a week. How you doing? Are you struggling with anything? Can I help you with anything? Are you inviting people? Are you showing the three vital behaviors? You need to remind them of the things they're supposed to be doing. Um, offer to help them with posts and private messages. So, you know, like here are a couple sample posts that I've been using. Here you go. You know, it's okay if they're posting the same thing that you're posting because most likely you have different audiences. So it's okay. Um, act as the go-to person for your downline. So if someone has a question, you want them to go to you as you being their coach rather than them coming to Sharice and I. Because when someone has a question, they go to who they feel is most knowledgeable and who is empowered. And the way that you build trust and the way that people realize that you are someone who can be a resource for them is by acting as a leader. So if when your team starts viewing you in that way, you know you're doing something right. So definitely do that. Um, remind them to post and invite consistently. Send them training videos from our team pages. We have a whole document of training videos. So if they're struggling with the invitation process, make sure to send them out some of the YouTube videos on that. If they're struggling with understanding how the lead system works, send them a video on that. There's a wealth of information. There's a whole document, just YouTube training videos. Look through them and see you know, what they're doing. If they're struggling with whether or not they should sign up their spouse, send them the video on that. Um, those videos are quick, they're short, and very effective. So, and that's a great way for them to realize, oh, wow, you know, you're sending me all this great stuff. You are really helping me. Thank you. Um, so that's really awesome. Checking on their progress towards Success Club 5. So when you're doing that once a week check-in, like, how you doing? Any Success Club points yet? Um, and then if they're like, no, I haven't gotten any. Okay, well, let's see. And, you know, you see their page. So you can say, that's okay. You know, I've been seeing your page. You're posting Posts are really great, you know, keep it up, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, that kind of thing. What I have also done is had people screenshot their private messages with potential challengers, have them send them to me, make some suggestions, and then um, they've implemented those suggestions and it has worked out. So that's another thing as a leader that you can do for your team. Um, you really wanna bring like significant problems, obviously, to your upline coach. Um, but definitely only after you've looked in the FAQs, did a chat, chat with Coach Relations, and Googled it. Because you can find a lot just by Googling it. Your business will soar if you do this. If you take on a leadership role, I can tell you, your business will soar. So I encourage you to do it. Um, also, and Dave spoke about this the other night, trust our system. Team Perseverance created a system for challenge groups where you know you get a 30-day challenge group with the purchase of a challenge pack, and after the 30 days, you have to make a decision to become a coach or to you know, not go forward in the next challenge group. And I know it sometimes puts you in a hard position when you're dealing with family and friends, when they're like, oh, I'm not sure yet, I don't know, I just wanna do it another month, and things like that. You know what, it is what it is, this is our policy, and it works for us. Our team has exploded by following this policy. And um, it can be a little uncomfortable when you're having that conversation with the person of why they can't continue. But I would simply just say like, I'm sorry, this is our team policy. This is how we operate. 
And you may get hit with, but other teams don't do that. That's right, they don't. Every team has their own policy. This is ours, so I have to stick by the policy. Heck, blame us. Jen and Therese find out I'll get in trouble. <laughs> um, I'll, take, I'll take the heat. But, um, you know, it really does work because you know what happens when they say, no, I don't think I'm going to do it. Then a week later, they've stopped working out. They're not eating as well. And they're like, oh, I really did need that challenge group. So when you check in with them after two weeks and you say, hey, how's it going? And they're going to say, not so good. And you then have the opportunity to say, hey, listen, the door is always open. You can join us at a co as a coach at any time. So, um, and I've had that happen many times that someone says, no, 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 no. Two or three weeks later, they're like, okay, I want back in. So I'm like, okay, the only way you can get back in is by becoming a coach. And they do. So that's definitely something to, um, to definitely – follow through. And I know, I know it can be uncomfortable to have that call sometimes, but it, it will work out for you in the end. And when you start making exceptions, that's when you start going down a slippery slope because once you do it for one person, then person tells another person and it's just not good for the team because it's also, it's very noticeable when challenge groups are supposed to be a certain size. And then all of a sudden we look and there's like 10 extra people who shouldn't be there. So it is known. Um, it may not be something we call you out on right away, but it just doesn't set a good precedent for the team if they're not coaches and they're doing challenge groups over and over and over. Um, just a couple of other notes um, and things that Sharice definitely wanted me to touch on. Make sure you follow through on what you learn on trainings. You know, a lot of times people will say, oh, I need more training on this. So we'll prepare a training and we'll give you some information. But then we just see them still doing the same thing over and over and over. And, you know, as you know, doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting a different result is a definition of insanity. So let's not go insane. Let's try to implement some new things so you can have new success. You have to go out of that comfort zone so you can really, really experience what it is to succeed because sometimes, you know, I've never had a business before. I never thought I was going to have a business. So this is all new to me. So I like hearing what all the other top coaches are doing. I follow them. They know a heck of a lot more about this whole thing than I do. So I might think I have a great system, but when I see something that somebody else is doing, I'm like, Hey, you know what? Maybe I should give that a try. And when I do, sometimes it works. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes it doesn't work for me, but you know what? I tried it. So we would love to see you implementing some of these things. So that would be great. Always make sure in your posts, you are telling your story. We don't want to see cookie cutter posts like, you know, hey, bio was awesome. You know, and here's a picture of Shailene Johnson. You know, we want to hear about you because when you are posting, people want to, you know, there's 8,000 team, you know, thousands and thousands of team Beachbody coaches out there. You want someone to connect with you and want you to be their coach. Well, what's gonna make them want you is your story. So when you're posting about your struggles, your successes, what you've had for dinner, what you have done, you know, your kids are driving you crazy, but you still got your workout in. That is real life, that is you. And people can associate with you and be proud of you for your successes and say, hey, if you know, so-and-so can do it, well then maybe I can too rather than, you know, just some random person on Facebook and here's a picture of Shailene Johnson. That means nothing to them. Tell your story. You guys have good stories. There is major success on both of our teams. You guys blow me away with what you have done and what you've accomplished towards your own personal health and fitness goals. So share that information because let me tell you, there is a great audience out there that would love to hear it. So that's really, really important. Um, Oh, and another great point that Therese wanted me to make sure to mention, take your most common objections. So when you're doing your invitations, think about what it is that people most often say to you. For me, it's a money objection. That's the thing I get most of the time is, oh, that's kind of out of my price range right now. And you want to make sure that every once in a while you are posting something that refers to that objection. So like, you know what? working out with my Shakeology and my, you know, each body programs. Yeah, it's expensive, but you know what? It's worth every penny. And I would gr gladly give up so such and such so that I can afford it every single month, you know, or, you know, by being a team Beachbody coach, I'm able to, 
get my Shakeology at a discount every month. So I'm able to continue with the program that I love so much and has helped me to lose 26 pounds. So things like that. So keep thinking, like maybe even you can make a running list. When people say no, why are they saying no? And if they just say no, you can even send them a message back and be like, hey, listen, just so I can, you know, I'm just working on improving my business skills and whatnot. Can I, can I just ask you, why, why are you saying no? And, you know, if they're just like, oh, you know, I don't think I'll do it or it's too much money or too much time commitment or I don't want to put sweaty pics on Facebook, all of that is material that you can post about. It's about accountability. It's about the money issue. It's about time management. It's about, you know, you are worth it. You finding time for you is important. So definitely take note of the kinds of objections you're getting because it can really work out for you. And those same people who are objecting when they see those posts might, it might resonate with them and they might say like, wow, I never thought of it like that. Okay. Maybe I should try again. And you should always, you know, when they say no for money or for anything else with the exception of, I mean, honestly, there's no reason, other reason. You should always be following up those people in like at least a month or two. Usually when someone says no to me, I'll give them the next month off. They're on my off list. And then the following month, I'll follow up with them again. Because you don't want to be like a squeaky wheel in their, in their ear constantly. But you want to keep checking in on them. You know, if they tell me they're doing another program, I have a two-week watch list. Every two weeks, I email people or PM them. And I'll say, hey, how's, how's Weight Watchers going? Or how's the CrossFit going? Or how's the walking going? Or, you know, how's it going? And, you know, sometimes they'll be like, oh, it's fantastic. So I say, hey, that is great. Good job. Keep it up. Sometimes like, yeah, I'm really struggling. I don't know what to eat. So I send them recipes. You know, you want to be a valuable resource. You don't want to be a sales pitch. So it's definitely worth the time to give out some free advice and some free things like recipes. Um, video clips of exercises. There are all, there's tons of them on the Beachbody blog or on YouTube. You know, it's, it really can set a really good tone for a working relationship when you do that. So it's worth, it's worthwhile your time to do that kind of thing. So, um, I think that's all I have. Um, sorry. I know that was a lot. <laughs> um, once I get talking, forget it. So who has questions for me? Some of you I can't see because you're on a phone. So does anyone have questions? Jen, when you were doing the, um, the Fit Club, were you giving them Shakeology um, samples? No. I just put a sign up in the faculty room that said, like, hey, guys, my school is called Ben Franklin. So I was like, all right, BF Fit Club, you know, it's summer. I know everyone wants to get moving. We had done a 5K as a school um, in April. So I said, I know um, everyone was really excited to do the 5K. So how about we do um, some exercises? You all know I'm a beach body coach and, you know, and it's hard because, you know, they're all starting their journey or, you know, attempting to start their journey. And sometimes it, you know, they're like, oh, look at you. You don't need, and I'm like, no, no, no. I need it just as much as you do. But they don't always see that. Mm -hmm. So um, it was nice to work out with them and to see like, I can't do everything. I have to modify some things too. I'm a human being, you know? They kind of put you up on this pedestal. Right. Because I'm the after. But I'm like, I went through a hell of a lot of work to get there. And sometimes people forget that. Mm -hmm. So um, the Fit Club, had, um, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. And when I did it at the Karate Dojo, it was a lot of fun. So, you know, you lose that group, group fitness perspective. So, um, it's fun, but just make sure you have them sign the waivers, which are in the coach online office. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do four weeks now, and then I'm probably going to do it again in September. Okay. Who else has questions? Can't see you all. There we go. Oh, there you all are. Okay. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have a question. That way we can unmute you. And if any of you telephone people have questions, just shout it out. Nobody else has questions? All right, how about this? Who's going to tell me what they're going to do this week? Who's going to be the first brave soul? What are you going to do this week to get your business to the next level? Think about that for a second. What are you going to do? It doesn't have, I mean, it could be something I said or something. 
Good. Lisa says she's going to post more personal stories. Lisa, you have a great story. You are doing the reset. And I think that is so awesome. I loved your pictures of your meals and your little descriptions. I think you're doing a fantastic job with that. I want all that all the time. It's great. Great, great, great job. So keep that up. But you have, you have lost so much weight. You have an incredible story. So share it. Share it. Share it. You look beautiful. So share it. Thank you. Who else? Who else has us tell me what they're going to do this week? Oh, God. I'm putting up the chat in case you're chatting. Who's over there? Katie, what are you going to do this week? I can see you. <laughs> I'm going to uh, share more personal. Good. Good. Laura, how about you? I'm going to read my first uh, book. Good. I'll start reading it. Do you have it? I'm gonna download the. I just took the. I took notes on my phone of the ones you suggested. Okay. I'll awesome. download it. Awesome. The, the badass one is really good and it's funny. So, I think I'm gonna read that. Yeah. Either okay. the badass one or the I badass and life's golden ticket. Yeah. Um, I think you can't go wrong with either one of those. So good for you. Awesome. I'll listen to audio without my kids. Yes, please. <laughs> I didn't know. I had it in the kitchen. I'm cutting vegetables and she's like. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> my husband's like, what are you listening to? Are you funny? He's like, what, what do you people do? <laughs> so I, I got in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah. Who's over here? Melissa Lyons, what are you going to do this week? Was it you over there? And she's on mute. You have to unmute yourself. I'll come back to you. Kristen, what are you going to do this week? No, I spoke with Kelly was doing, Kelly Dahl back here, with her free, um, her free group, and she was giving out the five-day Shakeology samples, which I thought was an amazing idea. I have a lot of extra Shakeology, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, that might work for me as well because I'm still struggling. I really, my, my warm market is really done. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to keep um, focusing on the same, you know, there's a lot of people who keep saying month to month, yes, next month. And I don't want to keep focusing on them. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of people who do want to try the shake allergy, but of course the money is one of my biggest objections. So I'm wondering, I have given out the free samples before. Um, but they really were, I guess they weren't really serious about it. I think if I can connect them to the group um, and give out the recipes and have them do their own workouts, it's probably a little bit more viable than just having them try this the one day. Absolutely. I was, I saw Kelly did that too. And for me, I was a little concerned about the cost. So what I was constantly thinking about doing and feel free to steal this is I was thinking of having them buy the super sampler, which is $30. Mm -hmm. And then if they sign up for the Beachbody On Demand free, they get access to 30 days of free work. They could run a five to seven day group where they have enough Shakeology for every day and they have Beachbody workouts for every day. And what I did when I ran the Beachbody On Demand group, I'd be happy to share it with you, Kristen, or with any of you. Um, I took posts from the multi-group multi -group, uh, challenge group guide. Mm -hmm. And I really used a lot of those in the posts for each day. Okay. So it wasn't like I was reinventing the wheel. Okay. I was taking what we had and just putting it into place. And this way, you know, a thirty dollar investment mm -hmm. is not not that much. You know, when they're getting thirty day thirty day thirty dollars for thirty days, pretty much. You know, they get thirty days access to each body on demand with I think the super sampler comes with six, eight, what does it come with? Six or eight uh samples. So that would get them through a week and you could give them, you know, throughout the week, you could have, okay, today we're going to try chocolate. Here's some chocolate recipes. You know, if you try vanilla, here are some vanilla recipes. So that's definitely something you can do. Okay. Yes. Great idea. Thank you. No, no problem. Cause it, it gets expensive. You don't want to keep buying stuff, you know, it's so uh, they buy it and you're just running it. You're facilitating it. I actually, I actually have it extra because my my aunt at Beachbody has been great to my aunt. I don't know what she's doing. She's been calling. She originally called for the three day refresh because she thought that it was missing like the fiber sweep or whatever. Um, and they gave her a free, um, you know, three day supply of Shakeology somehow. Oh wow! Um, and they give her. They call her up for like different 
um, surveys and stuff and then giving her all this free stuff. So she's sending it all to me. So it's working out for my business because I can give it to other people. So for me, like to give out like five people for five days, it's not a problem. Okay, good. But doing that, it, I would have to do the, th you know, the uh, sampler thing. Right. But definitely um, link it with the Beach Body On Demand because that costs nothing for them. They just have to put in their credit card information. And I always, when people sign up for that, I give them the cancellation yeah. phone number on the day they're signing up. Okay. Okay. All right. Renee, I see your beautiful little girl there. Do you have uh, anything you're going to tell us about what you're going to do this week? Oh, here's Renee. She said, she messaged me. I'm going to be more consistent with posting. Um, she's getting feedback. So it's hard to hear. Um, and she wants to know more about the, my fit club. So the fit club, it's just, it's pretty simple. I just handed out some flyers and sent an email out to the whole staff, um, with my, the blessing of course of my principal, so I didn't get in trouble. Um, and we just borrowed the school's giant TV that has a DVD player that the kids use, you know, for assemblies and for, um, you know, recess time. And we have a large group area. Everyone brought a yoga mat, water, and we did a 30 day, we did a 30 minute workout and it was great. So I'm going to do a different program each week for four weeks. And um, like I said, just check in with them, give them recipes. I added them. I have a healthy recipe group, so I added them to that. Um, and just really get them thinking about, hey, look, you could do this. And just a lot of positive reinforcement. So like the next, that night, I sent them a big email about, you know, really like pepping them up. Like, hey, you guys are taking the first step. It's good. You know, and I think almost all of them checked in with me the next day, telling me which aches and pains they had. I'm like, well, that's good. It means you did something. <laughs> so, um, so definitely give it a try. And Melissa Lyon says she's going to post more personal, start telling my story. Definitely, Melissa, tell your story. Absolutely. Who else do we have here? Let's see. Um, I don't know who's on the phone. Friends on the phone, does anyone have anything to share? What you're going to do this week? I'll share more personal stories. Okay, who's this? Miranda. Hey, Miranda. Okay, great. Yeah, Say, share more personal stories. That would be awesome. And who else is on the phone? Dawn. All right, and what do you I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I, I really like the idea of the, uh, the badass, um, uh, you know, audio tape. Uh, definitely listen to that. And, and I'm just learning so much uh, right now. This is the you know, three of this whole experience. So I'm working on building my story, but, um, you know, just finding more and more motivation so that when I have uh, that success story, I can definitely share it with others. Awesome. And remember, you don't have to wait till you hit your final success to have success. Every step along the road is success. I worked out five days in a row. That is huge. You could, you know, I haven't worked out five days in a row in three years. This is huge progress for me. That's success. I have eaten right for two weeks. I made more vegetables in two weeks than I've eaten in two years. Mm -hmm. That's success. Those are posts you could put up in the beginning because it's hard in the beginning. You feel like you have to have these major results to be like, hey, here's my story. Your story starts the day you join, the day you decide to press play and start getting healthier. So think of those little tiny approximations towards success, you know? So think of the, the little steps you're taking to make yourself successful and tell the world about it because that you may inspire somebody else to do the same. You know, post a picture of your dinner, like, hey, I would never have eaten this had I not made changes in my life. I love this, re I love this recipe. It was so good. Who wants it? And then have people post, I want it, I want it. And then you PM it to them, and then that starts a conversation. Hey, it was so easy to make. It was delicious. You know, do you ever make things like this? What kind of healthy foods do you make? And if they say none, well, there you go. There's your conversation starter. All right, everyone. Does anybody else have any final questions? All right, then I think we're good. All right, guys, thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate it. Thank you.